50 lives. Can't believe that. Well, I've played almost every single level in this game from the very beginning, so... That makes sense. Alright, world 6-7. Ah, another side-scrolling level. I don't mean side-scroller as a side-scroller. You know what I mean. It forces you to move with a time limit. Ah, watch out for the exploding bowling ball, whatever the heck that thing is. If you don't watch it, this world will put you on ice. <laughs> I love this game. It really is one of the greatest games of all time. And I was not joking when I said it was on the top three NES games and the top the, on the top twenty chart in Nintendo Power magazine. It was oh ah it was always in the top three in Nintendo Power magazine for the longest time. Anybody that's listened to this that was a hardcore subscriber to Nintendo Power magazine during that time will tell you that will tell you that it's true and it was in the top three always for a reason it was one of the best of all time it was Mario 3 The Legend of Zelda and I think it might have been Final Fantasy or, or Metroid I'm not sure what was number three but usually Zelda and Mario would always be neck and neck and kind of take turns being number one I think Mario 3 might have been number one more than Zelda I'm not sure anybody that subscribed to Nintendo Power Magazine can go ahead and let me know that for sure I still have a lot of those old magazines, but anyway. Here's the, I think this is the second mini castle in Iceland. I think there was, I think I beat one earlier, if I can remember. And these castles can be hard enough. Now, I'm on ice, so it kind of makes it even more harder. Well, oh, I, I got a little, um, I don't know what the word is, overzealous or whatever. I, I thought it was the end. I thought th the boss battle was right there. Here's the boss battle now. Oh, what, watch out. All right. What is, the, what is that question mark? I mean, is it kind of like Castlevania when you beat a level and you get that ball that makes you, that says you beat the level? I don't know. What's the point of having the bridge right there? Alright, we're getting close to the end of this world here. Thankfully. <laughs> ah! Freaking fake Pac-Mans. Whoa. Ah, midget, midget. It's on steroids again. But I love this world, though. Despite how frustrating it could be. Oh. I love this. This whole, this whole game is just freaking awesome. Wee. Oh, yeah. Now that was ECW. Get to the White Castle along with Harold and Kumar. Hi. <clears throat> um. I hate this level. I hate these hard levels, but I love them at the same time. Except for that maze level that took me an hour to beat. Where, oh, come on. That maze level that took me a long time to beat. I really do legitimately hate that level. Oh, you moron. Don't jump in the plants. Anyway, I was saying I hate that level. I think it was World 6-5. I know I didn't have to go to there, but, you know, to get the full value of, oh, that was a dumb term, to get the full feel of this Let's Play, I really want to go through every level. I think I skipped one level in this game, but, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I have nothing, that my mom went blank there. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but... Oh, oh yeah, that was a waste of frog suit. You know those those uh don't come. Oh, what? You're not supposed to follow me directly. Man, I'm not good at this level. I just wasted my precious frog suit, which is kind of rare in this game. You don't get it as much as you do a freaking mushroom star or flower every time you go to Toad's house. Get away from me. More ADD fish. again. I 
I don't remember if I said this already, but there is a world nine in this game, and it's not really a world that you play in. It's world nine is the warp zone. I didn't notice that at first, and then one day when I was in the warp zone, when I was a kid, I said, "Whoa, it says world nine. Cool." So yeah, world nine is the warp zone. What? Oh, come on. What? You can't swim in the air. The game cheated right there, man. You see that? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going in circles here. I forgot where to go. Watch out for, for the big fish. How does it feel to be a big fish in a small pond? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. I'm confused. I'm confused. Where'd I go? another Super Metroid Let's Play now. Well, I don't know where to go, and we're going to spend about 15 different parts on YouTube before I finally figure it out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hello. Jump! Moron! Yeah, and I got firepower. Got the foia power. What? What? Ah, uh, watch it! Say nothing. Midget gorillas get my last nerve. I'm midget gorillas. Midget midgets on steroids. Midget gorillas are those uh those beetles, whatever their official names are. I don't know. Okay. Ah no! Don't shoot the piranha plant, moron! Whoa! whoa. Oh, 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 no, pan. Let's try this again. This might be the last time I want to hurry up and get to the castle. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you guys have no idea how addicted I was to this game when I was a kid, and I'm pretty sure I'm definitely not the only one. I mean, I would bug a friend of mine that had this game to, you know, hey, let's go play Mario 3, let's play Mario 3, let's play Mario 3. It's the only thing I freaking wanted to do. It was play, go over his house, play Mario 3, that was it. Okay, I'm, I don't know if there's a pit down there, I'm afraid to, oh, good, okay. Yes. 